planners and bullet journals, art journals, art projects, organized planner chic. Well, hello, planner babes, and welcome to Organized Planner Chic. I'm Lucinda, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do so and select the bell for notifications. Well, first, I want to thank all my awesome Patreon members who help make it possible to create videos like this. Well, thank you guys so much, and if you're interested in supporting me on Patreon, just go to patreon.com slash organized planner chic. Okay, you guys, we are going to do some junk journaling today. I hope you guys are excited and ready. I have, you know, something in mind, in my brain that I think I want to do. And, you know, you never know if it's going to turn out exactly right, right? But we'll, we'll see how it turns out. If you are on today, please say hello. Tell us where you are joining us in from so we can say hi. If you have a birthday or an anniversary or anything like that you want us to celebrate, let us know. I will sing happy birthday to you. But welcome, welcome, welcome. So I'm going to be junk journaling in this junk journal that I made some time ago. I did a video on it and I'll share that with you guys. I will add that in as a link after this live video processes. And so that usually takes at least a day before I can do that. But yeah, let's go ahead and look into it. I love it so much. I have made multiple ones and this is definitely one of my favorites that I made out of a cardboard box and paper and just all kinds of stuff, right? So let's get started. Let me know what you are doing today, what you are working in and what your project is that you're kind of looking to do today. So I am thinking I want to paint. I want to look and see what page I think I want to start in. I've stuck some stuff in here that I know that I want to junk journal with. And so let's move some of that out. Do you guys ever do that? Just kind of put it somewhere. Stick it in there where you think you might use it. Oh, this is cute, but I don't want to use it right there. I don't want to use this. I want a completely blank section this time to use. So let's find, or not completely blank, but one that doesn't have... Well, I might not be able to find one. Hey, Anna, how are you? It's so good to see you. Thank you for joining today. Okay, so yeah, I did find a blank uh, spray that I'm going to use. But before I do that, because I'm going to do some painting, then I want to go ahead and put some something down on my surface to make sure that I don't get paint everywhere. Right? <laughs> So I'm just going to stick that right in between. Oops, I knocked something over. Let me pick that up really quickly. Some of my supplies for today's video, for today's junk journal project or art journal project. All right, so that's going to cover up my surface where I need it to be covered. So that will work. And now I want to go ahead and use a couple of binder clips. I pulled some out, I thought, specifically for today's video to hold the ends, but I guess I didn't, to hold the pages down. So I'm gonna do that so that I can work very easily. I feel like my screen is just a little blurry today, but it might just be the angle that I'm looking at it. Okay, so I'm gonna hold several pages. Let me see if I can get all of this. Not quite, some of that is sticking out a little too far. But get this kind of out of the way. Here we go. Even though I am going to be gluing some of that on there. Um, but right now, I just want to get and really look at the surface that I'm, I'm thinking about using. Okay. So, I'm going to start off today with some napkin. Just for a little bit background. Like I said, I had something in my mind that I was thinking that I wanted to do. So, I think I want to take this napkin, and I'm trying to decide if I want to use all of the other part of the paper on here as well, but I definitely want to use this part, and it's going to be, I don't know where I want to put it exactly, though. Do I want to put it right here, or right here? I think I might, because I want to do two. I want to do, I want to do two different messages about love. So, I want to put love up here, and then I want to put love, hmm where I want to put the other love. 
kind of up here. Or I might do both. I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> so I think I'm going to start off with this one and then I'll just kind of feel my way. Okay. Because that's what art is, right? Sometimes, well, a lot of times for me, it's just I'm feeling my way through what I want to do. And then I just kind of let the pieces fall. Even with junk journaling, I just kind of let things become what they want to become. So I'm going to start off with this piece right here. And then I might still use some of the tissue paper. So I want to cut that off. And I'm going to get pull out. I didn't pull out my Mod Podge. Um, but I think that's what I want to use to glue it. But let's cut this off first. This piece that I know I want to use. So don't forget to say hello if you guys are on today. So I don't think I want to worry about going all the way up to the edge. And that might have been nicer if I had torn that. So let's see. Just kind of tear this and make sure I don't tear too far. But this is just going to kind of help spur the rest of my art along for this project. Yeah. But I am excited to do this. Okay, I want to leave this little uh, starter piece of the L. I know I want to use that. All right, and I don't really necessarily need to use my podge for this. No, that's going to hang over. I can use some other glue, but because I'm going to be painting all around too. So let's move that down. And then I think I am going to get my Mod Podge because I just love. Oh, and look, you guys, do you guys notice I polished my nails? Remember I told you I was going to start doing that more in 2022. And I was probably going to mostly do um, glitter because it doesn't look bad as it starts to come off. But I decided to do color and glitter on top. Yay. So let's see how much I can keep up with that because this is art too, right? Okay, I'm going to grab my Mod Podge really quickly because I want to use some so I'm going to use this one I think this one is the matte which is this will work fine and I've got brushes together and some water got this little jar that I like to use these are candle like candle jars I think or candle making jars anyway they sell these at Dollar Tree and I really like to use them to put water in for my projects so that's what I'm using let me see if I can push it out the way without knocking it on the floor. Because that I don't want to do. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to use one of my craft paint brushes that I don't care if it gets messed up. But actually, this is the one I usually use for that kind of stuff. And this is a really good quality paintbrush. It is actually an expensive paintbrush. And you would think I wouldn't be using it for glue, but I do. <laughs> so I'm not going to put this in a... A container I'm just going to squirt some on here and then put the tissue paper on top of it and then put a little bit on top of that and I don't want to glue my pages together so but I don't want that to dry either so let's see how that looks get it pretty close to the inside that's a little bit taller than I wanted it to. I started a little bit higher than I want to, but I think it'll look good sticking out too because this is a junk journal. Okay. All right. So let's add a little bit of glue to the top and then see how much I need to add as I go. And I'm totally okay with it spilling over and I'm totally okay with it wrinkling because I actually really like the way that looks. Yeah, so I'm definitely gonna need some more glue. And so let's put some more glue on here, right? So what are you guys up to today? I am, it's almost time for me to go to move to Tulsa to help my parents move here and live with us. I Today is Saturday and I leave on Thursday. In fact, I need to check and see what time I leave on Thursday so I can really be aware of how much time I have. So I'll make sure this is go isn't going through. It's just cool. It's not stuck. So that's good. Yeah, so I really like the way this looks just from it getting 
wrinkled. Yeah, so cool to me. So I want to put this kind of raised up right here. So I'm going to put a little bit, well, but I don't want to put too much. So I just want to put like a little dot, tiny dot of glue right in there to help this lay down like I want it to. But I don't want to tear it. Hey, Candace girl, how are you doing? It's so good to see you guys. Thank you, Etta and Candace, for saying hello. It makes my day. All right. So I feel like I need to put a little more glue right here. And no need to worry. Any whiteness will dry clear as long as you don't have like a little mountain of glue because then that'll just dry as a little white mountain and we don't want that okay so i gotta let that i gotta let that dry and i'll kind of want two messages about love so i'm thinking i might put the other piece right here and kind of do some sort of art that indicates that so i think that's what i want to do so, I'm going to go ahead and rip off this piece. And if it doesn't turn out lovely, it's okay. All right, so I need this piece right here. And it's going to go right here. Okay, so I'm going to tear it like I did the other one. So, what are you guys working on right now? Candace and Etta and everybody else. What are you doing for today's video? Are you junk journaling? Are you planning? Are you doing some art, sketching, etc.? Okay, so then this can go right there. Right in there. All right, yes. Yeah. So these napkins came from Dollar Tree, by the way, y'all. And let me know, has your Dollar Tree changed its prices yet? Mine changes them on the 24th, so I'm going to go like two more times <laughs> before the prices change. And then of course I'm still gonna go after they change because most of the things that I get there are still an amazing deal at $1.25. So I'm trying to squeeze out some of this. Hey, Candace, you're working on dinner, but you'll be working your planner later on. Okay, cool. What are you having for dinner, Candace? Awesome. All right, and your dog tree changed in December. Okay, all right. So how are you feeling it? Is it like, like I was thinking about it yesterday, and I was like, if I, okay, so if I buy, um, what was I thinking? I can get eight things for $10 now um, at Dollar Tree before tax, or 16 things for, I mean, yeah, 16 things for $20. And I was like, well, you know, it will make me, pay attention and make sure I put things back that are in my basket that I really don't love, you know, I think it's going to make me do that. But let me know, how has, how has it impacted you if the Dollar Tree prices have changed for you already? I'm just curious. Yeah. But other than that, you know, I get a lot of good stuff there. You know, when Dollar Tree first came out, my brother still, he refuses to buy anything from Dollar Tree. He is just convinced <laughs> it's not going to be good. I hear you, Candace. That was just what I was thinking. I'm going to be less impulsive because before I'd be like, it's just a dollar. It's not going to add up that much. You know, it's not a big loss. But now I think I'm going to really pay attention and make sure that I'm getting what I really have plans for or is on my list or that I see and, and realize oh that would really benefit me but not just throw stuff in there <laughs> okay Etta, so it had, your prices haven't changed yeah ours are changing on the 24th yeah I asked the only way reason I know is because I asked um, uh, a cashier or he was a, the manager too I asked him when the prices were going to change yeah all righty okay so i don't want to go too far again on the edge here and stick the pages beneath it i kind of got a lot of water on my brush this time too so yeah but i feel like on the edge i'm gonna need to put a little bit more 
Yeah, and this is more red, and I was looking for more pink-ish, but I feel like if I use a really hot pink, that um, it'll be okay. So let's finish, rinse out that glue brush, and um, work on that. So let me get the, let that soak a little bit more and decide what I want to use. So I have this. I'm really not sure what I want to I have this, and I also wanted to use, there's this ribbon stuff I was thinking of might use, not ribbon, it's hot pink raffia that I've had from Dollar Tree for a long time, and so I think, mm, girl, you don't know what you want to do. Okay, let's go ahead and paint first. <laughs> let's go ahead and use this paint. Now, I brought my easel out. This is some, I don't think I got this one. I might have gotten this one from Dollar Tree if I didn't. I got it from 99 cent store, but I think this paint came from Dollar Tree. So, I think I'm going to paint this, and I'm going to have to somehow blend, um, don't put too much, girl, this more red with this pink. Mm. We'll see how it turns out. It's always an experiment, right? <laughs> okay, let's see. I hope I'm going to like it. I feel like I shouldn't do too much. Mm, or, or I should have a little more white. We'll see. I might have to put something down. We're just going to play and see how it turns out. That's what we'll do. Rather than waste time, just go with it, right? Just go with it. <laughs> just go with it and see what happens. All right. So I'm just going to paint this background. And I feel like just doing paint strokes is, can be so therapeutic, right? And the good thing about inexpensive paint like this is it works well on paper. You know, on a DIY project, it might be too thin. But on the paper, it's, um, and I don't care if paper gets over, paint gets over on the side, as long as I make sure it doesn't stick together. I'll have to, you know, mess around with it and make sure it doesn't stick. I think I'm going to somehow blend this all into something. And I like how the extra glue makes the paint look different. Yeah, how it, see how you get that texture in there? So that is going to be pretty cool. Move this down a little bit. But this is just so relaxing for me, you guys. Uh, do you find this relaxing, just doing crafting or journaling or planning you know it's just it feels like such a great way to decompress and just be in the moment at least for me it really really is it helps me take my mind off of the cares in the world not that I ignore the cares of the world but we need to have time where we're not worried about the next thing that we got to do you know just to nurture ourselves and so that is what this does for me yeah, and I feel like it also helps me to clear my mind so that I can hear from God, you know, so I'm not focused on something that I'm worried about. Yeah, so I'm just going to kind of paint this up toward, I want to get my head in the way, sorry about that. If, if I did get my head in the camera, I'm sorry about that. But I just want to kind of paint this up to where the tissue paper starts. Yeah. And I'm not worrying about it being an even coat because that's not what I'm going for. I'm just going for something carefree. Carefree. Yeah, because that's how I'm feeling right now. It's carefree. So I want it to have the variation of color in there. And, you know, which also gives it a little bit of texture. So I have some areas right in here where there's no paper. No tissue paper and so I'm gonna fill that in and that might kind of help blend these colors too just check and make sure my paper is not stuck to the other paper yeah so I think yeah so I don't have any tissue paper all the way over to there yeah so, I'm liking it. I feel I want to darken it a little bit. But again, I want it to have different variations of color and texture. 
and I'm not worried about um, paint getting on the other side. I mean, I don't want it to stick though, so that's why I was rubbing it. But this horizontal motion just feels so good to me. Yeah, I don't want the paper to stick. And of course, I'm going to have paint on my hands when I get done. <laughs> I could do it with gloves on, but I feel like they don't they they don't fit well enough for me to feel comfortable with what I'm doing. So I don't want to do that. Alrighty. Oh, that's holding open pretty well. So that's good. I'm gonna kind of just go around this edge so I don't have to keep worrying about it sticking. And then I'll come back over it with some horizontal motions. Making me think about wax on and wax off. <laughs> I love Cobra Kai on Netflix because I grew up with Karate Kid. So, yeah. I think we're probably like the same age. I, I don't know. I don't know how old Ralph, Ralph Macchio is now, but he might be. I think he's actually older than me, but I don't remember. So, anybody else like Cobra Kai or grew up on Karate Kid? <laughs> yeah. All right, this is pretty hot, isn't it? But it's not going to be all hot like that when I'm done. Because I'm going to be putting stuff on here. And I don't know exactly what yet. I am just kind of have a vision. But I don't know exactly how it's going to turn out. So, I think I'm going to... I want to put this over there. Now, I did do more paint than I wanted to. So, I'm going to see if I can get some of that paint back in here. Man, can I even do that? Dang, I did too much. I mean, like that much too much. <laughs> you love the movies but haven't seen the Netflix show. Oh, yeah, I love the show on Netflix. I mean, it does have some inappropriate language in the first season. Well, period, but there had some inappropriate image on the first season. But other than that, um, this language... Um, and there's no nudity or anything like that. So that, I can't, I can handle a language on shows up to a point. After I hear enough F-bombs over and over and over and over again, I get weary and I just can't keep watching it, at least not for a while. But um, the nudity and the, where it's like, you feel like you're a fly on the wall <laughs> watching people in the same room having sex, I can't deal with that. That's just me. So, I'm going to try to save some of this paint. Yay! I just took a scrap of paper. Because this is just a... Oh, wait, I don't want this to be on there. I just don't want to waste all this paint, y'all. That's a lot. So, I'm going to put it back in here. If I can get it, paper might get too weak. I'm going to try to get in here as much as I can. You guys ever do that? <laughs> try to save your paper. I mean, try to save your extra paint. I mean, I guess I really don't need to, but I just hate wasting. So, I'm going to see. I'm going to get as much as I can this time. And I might try one more try. To see how much I can get back in here. I got a lot back. I think it was worth the effort. And you know, I might use this little strip of paper as part of my project. So see, that was inspiration. Okay. Let's do that. And then I think I am going to use this little piece of paper. And maybe I'll just let the paint be, act as sort of some of the glue. Um... For it but there's still a lot of excess glue <laughs> so maybe I'll rub some of that excess off and stick it on the back yeah I bet if I just spread this around like this I'm gonna need to wash my hands and I did not bring a wet rag or anything to do that with so, let me get some of that extra off. And maybe I'll just stick my hands into my water <laughs> to uh, 
but I, I don't want all of, I want it to be visible. So, yeah, it'll just add a little touch. I don't know what it's going to be. Maybe I'll scrape some off. And it just adds a little something. So, I think I'm going to have to dip my hands into this brush water. And then maybe I'll uh, use the rest of that one napkin that I've cut apart. Because I forgot to bring a rag over here. Okay. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to wind up doing. So I don't have to leave you guys because I have a bunch more of these napkins. I didn't waste it because I just used it to wipe my paint off my hands. <laughs> okay, so I got that done. I'm going to wipe off a little bit of this extra paint so that the top won't stick. So we got that. Okay, now something was stuck on there. Okay, so now I think, oh, let me probably put this down. I need it curling. I don't know if that's going to wind up leaving an imprint. So I'll do it on the corner. This is still pretty wet. So I'm going to leave that like that. And then I think I want to put the, do I want to put the message on first? Or do I want to put the paint and stuff on first. So I think I want to use, let's see, I had a bag over here somewhere. Don't you love this? Etta sent this to me. I love it so much and there's goodies in here. Okay, so I don't know if I want to use this bag because it's so cute. I don't want to get rid of that bird. Um, I don't want to cut it out, but Hmm, it would be really cute right there. I think I might cut this out and put it on there. Um, and then put the message underneath that. Let's see, I'm trying to take everything out the bag. Sorry, you guys. I know I'm making, I'm making noise. But I think I might cut that. I'll leave it on the edge or let's see I'm gonna go ahead and cut this bag open and then I will decide if I want to put it over there okay I know what I want my message to be. Okay, so cut it around here. I think I'm going to kind of fussy cut it because there's a little piece hanging right there and I want to include that. So, I'm going to cut around this. And... I don't want the side. I'm going to save those scraps, though, for future projects. I feel like I'm going to have to cut the tail of this bird. I am all oh, to do what I want. So I think I'm going to um, put it up there. Let's see. I feel like I want a little bit of this on there, though. So I'm going to cut this. And we're just going to figure it out as we go. So I want some of this pretty paper right here. Yeah, I want that there. Okay, so I'm going to put some permanent Dollar Tree permanent double-sided tape on it. And let's see. I have uh, one that I already started. Hello, everybody who's joining welcome tell us who you are so we can say hello and welcome to you today to today's live stream yeah so my subscriber Etta sent this to me it was a bag and she put this beautiful decor on it and i'm going to incorporate it in this piece today awesome awesome 
So I'm just using some Dollar Tree permanent double-sided tape, which is my favorite if you're not aware. It's my favorite. Okay. And I think I'm not going to worry about trying to get around that piece. That way it can stick up and have a little bit of texture, which I love. Yeah. So I am going to have met a couple of messages on here. But, oops, that tape is showing and I don't want it to show. Okay, let's see, get this on here straight. Well, I guess it can't be straight because then I didn't cut it straight. Yeah, <laughs> but that is okay. We'll get it on here. All righty. Okay, so now I just need to get the other sides and I like to rub my permanent double-sided tape down and it helps me get the edges up whenever I need to remove the backing yeah so that's a little tip if you weren't aware okay this is coming along I really got that hot pink going though don't I but it's gonna it's gonna be more in the background though when we're all done all right we're going to lighten all that pink right on up with some other stuff. Okay. Let's get this last piece on there. Let me just rub it all around. And then that will go on really well. Okay. So rub all that. Especially those edges. It helps to get it to come up. All right. Oh, well, <laughs> not that time, apparently. There we go. I don't know what I did that it didn't do like it normally does that time, but probably the way that I grabbed it. So if you guys don't use Dollar Tree permanent double-sided tape, it is awesome, and it is only a dollar. I love it. So check it out. Actually, I think I'm going to put this over here. No, because I feel like it's... No, they're looking two different directions. So, I'm going to go ahead and put it right here. And... Yeah. There we go. Oh, so much wonderful texture. Okay, so that's that. And I think I'm ready... Well, I think I'm ready to put some of the message on this side... And so, what do I want to use for my black marker? So, I'm just looking over here. I have this huge, big, broad Fiber Costell Pit Artist Pen that I have not used in ages. I hope it even still writes. So, I think I want to do... Uh, God... Yeah, it writes so smoothly. But I still feel like this part is a little shallow, and I think it's because, you know, the texture is there. So I'm going to go back over it. Like this. And then I feel like I need to go back over the other ones, so they'll be about the same amount of darkness. These use India ink. Now that looks good. Okay, and then I feel like I want to write is right in here. And I think I want it to be on something. So maybe a piece of, well, I just balled up that tissue paper, but I should still be able to use it. So I'm going to do, just pull out a piece. Well, no, I really want a white piece. Um, so I'll take another napkin, yes. Or I can use the back of one of this, but then I want to use all this later, so I'm not going to use that. So, well, there's a little piece. I could just take this little piece, and it would be textured. But is that what I want to do? Hey, Billy, how are you, girl? How are you doing? Welcome. I haven't seen you in a 
while. I see your channel is blowing up. Congratulations. That is so awesome. And your she shed is just gorgeous. Congrats on that too. Absolutely. Yeah. So tell me what you've been up to, girl. You loving your she shed? I know you are. What kind of question is that, right? <laughs> And I just want to kind of take the, um, the edges off of this because I want it to be a little more jagged. So I'm going to take that off and but straighten it up a little bit. And so I think I'm going to put is on this. Yeah, I think that'll be cute. And I think I can just use... I don't know if I want to use just a glue stick on that because of the texture behind it. I feel like it might not stay. So I think I'll put a little bit of Mod Podge on it. Or actually, oh, I'm glad you did. It's awesome to see you. Okay, so I think I'm going to um, put just put the words on here first in case it doesn't want to write after I put the glue on there. So I'm just going to put write it out. And I'm going to go back over it so that they're all about the same darkness. Oh, you're so welcome, Billy. All right. And so this God is love. And so we've got the love part right there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and glue this. With a little bit of Mod Podge. Don't need that much. But I want to make sure I have enough. Go ahead and use my finger this time. This is also therapeutic. You know, just using your finger. I think. For me anyway. Alright. And then I won't have. I won't waste any glue. Hopefully. It's kind of hard sometimes not to waste glue. Okay. So let's put that right here yeah and then I can use my use my hand to press and then I can also use my bone folder so where's my bone folder let me get some of this paint off my hand or glue off my hands because I forgot to bring a rag okay where is my bone folder here we go I have three of these here we go. So that looks good. I don't need to put any glue on top, and if I do put any glue on top, then it will smear, and I definitely don't want that. Okay, so then I want to add some, I'm going to add some other paint and stuff to that as well. Um, and so on this side, I want to put a message, but I want to do it. Um, with I think paper bags so somewhere over here I actually I think I can use a couple of things um I want to I had a brown paper bag somewhere over here now I can't find it what okay here it is so I kind of feel like I want this oh and I got some little scraps in here too I forgot from our last one that we did Hello, Beppa, how are you? So I might put this under something because I do really like that. Let me see if I can just cut this and put it under. And then I might want a piece of paper bag. So let's put the paper bag piece down first. I don't remember what. Oh, this was when I was in Hawaii. I got something at the store. And so I wound up with this paper bag. I want this to kind of be the fat part. Like that. Do I want to make it a little bit smaller or do I want to go ahead? Where's my little where's my little clip, y'all? <laughs> that was holding this corner down. I don't know where I put it. Oh, here it is. Okay. Yeah, because I don't like it when it curls up like that. Okay. Put you right here. Don't curl. Okay. And then I think I'll go ahead and let this stick out a little bit. I'm going to put that on there. Okay. Move out the way. 
We'll put a little bit of glue on her. Yeah, this is fun. What are you doing, you guys? Everybody else has joined. What are you doing while you're watching? Are you doing any crafting or planning or journaling, or junk journaling, all that good stuff? All right, let's get some this water out of here and paint this glue on here. Okay. Oh, I want to put a little bit of glue right there. Oh, well, that's fine. I can put it here and then I'll put some on the top afterward. It'll help it blend in also. Yeah, just want to get kind of to the edges, but I'm also okay. Aren't completely flat because then it gives it more texture, and I love that in a junk journal or art journal. Yeah. So let's get this spread a little bit closer to the edge. You can stick out a little bit. Okay, so I want to put move that. Actually, I shouldn't have put that back in the water because <laughs> I want to use it to put some Mod Podge on the top. Oh, well. Smooth it out with my bone folder. This is also really therapeutic for me. Just that motion, you know, rubbing it. And I love, oh, got this paint that didn't dry. Let's see. Oh, a lot of paint that didn't dry right there because I let it get too thick. Okay. I don't want that on here. So that's sticking out a little bit right there, and that's cool. I like it. It's got, but as long as it just, you know, stays in the book, I'm fine with that. Plus, I think I'm going to glue something right on the bottom right there in the end. Okay. All right. So I'm probably going to put this like at the bottom right here. This little cute piece. Let's just tear that up. Let's see if I want it to be a little bit. You know, it's not straight. I mean, it doesn't have to be, but it just looked kind of weird. Hmm, and it doesn't like to rip. <laughs> So, where did I put my scissors? There we go. So, oh, well, this one is better. Mm, that's got that thick piece. Oh, you just finished, you're crafting and junk. Cool, you just finished dyeing some papers. You know, I need to do that. I always say that I'm going to do some paper dyeing, and I still haven't done it. But you are inspiring me, Billy. So, I'm going to, I'm going to try to do that. So trying to decide where I want to stick this piece. Do I want to put it right there? Or do I want to put it right here? I feel like it looks better right there. Or maybe right here. Maybe like this. I don't know. Hmm. I think I'm going to put it right there. So, let's put some Mod Podge. And I'll just use my fingers this time. And that was probably too much, but <laughs> I can never quite figure out the right amount of glue not to waste. I don't know. I might have gotten this one pretty, pretty good. Might have been a pretty good estimate. So, let's stick that. <laughs> I will, Billy. I'm excited now. You got me really riled up. Okay. Stick that right there. Some of the glue off my hands. Alrighty. I need another napkin. Okay, I need another. <laughs> but I don't want to waste another one. Okay, I'm just getting this off my hands. Okay, because I don't want my hands to be all wet. When I get ready to write on here. So, I did get a little extra glue, but that's okay. I just want to smooth this in the hopes that it will stay forever. Move some of that extra glue. I might want to put a little bit of piece, little piece of washi tape. I feel like I want to put like a skinny piece of washi tape on that. Hmm, let's see. 
what I have over here in my stash. What did I bring that would go good? That would look pretty good, but look, that green is so pretty. And this is, but it's not like, but it's animals. Is that crazy for me to put this on here? Because this is God is love, which has got animals. And then this is got animals, but I don't know if it really goes together. <laughs> but I could put just a little strip of green right here to tie the green in. Let me see what else I got. Love this, Etta. Thank you so much, girl. I ain't going to mess that up by putting it on here. Okay, let me find... I feel like I want to put green, so I'm probably going to use exactly that little piece with the with the animals. I don't... You know, I think it's fine. I'm going to use it. I could use a little bit of this somewhere, too, but I think I'm going to use the animals. Green, yes. All right, girl. Okay, let's put this little piece on here. I can just put a little piece... Just a little bit. Um, maybe right there. I feel like it should just be a little bitty piece, but let's tear it right here. Okay. And then, now it looks like it all ties in together. Yeah. Okay, so then I want to hear, I want to put is patient i don't want to mess it up <laughs> let's see if i can do it without messing it up y'all okay do i want to put is and then patient this way or is patient mm. i'm gonna put is and patient and then maybe i can yeah let's do that and then i'm gonna add some stuff is okay Hey, go slow, girl, so you won't mess up. It's almost done. Yay, I didn't mess up. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can trace over it and still not mess up. Okay, because so I want it to be as dark as the other one. Don't go too fast, Lucinda, or you'll mess up, girl. I think it's going to be nice when I'm all done. Alrighty. Uh-oh, that was a little fat. That's okay. It doesn't have to be patient. I mean, perfect. <laughs> Got to be patient with yourself. All right. Okay. I don't like that little piece, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Okay, so now I want to fill everything in with some different little sponge um, pieces of paint and maybe some splatter. Um, let's see. Because I got these little... You know, I have these little dilly whoppers, and I feel like I want to put some gold in here and maybe some more white. So I have the well, I have this, but then I have some really nice. Oh, you guys didn't see that. I have this, which is pretty. I might use this, but I also have this really good professional acrylic paint. And um, so I think, let's see how I want to do it. Put a little, where's my little, y'all know I can't find anything. <laughs> okay, let's use this. I'm going to put a little bit of paint in here. Not too much. I still feel like I probably used too much. But I'm going to stamp some sponge stamp or sponge, whatever I'm trying to say. I'm going to sponge a little bit of gold around here. Yeah. Um, 
That one has a little bit of pink on it, which is cool too. I feel like it's not very dark. Uh, that's too much paint. I can't get that paint back in the tube, y'all. <laughs> it's just going to have to be like it is. Oh, that one stamped really good. Uh, yeah, because I pressed down harder. Let's see how much is still on here. I think I should dip it one more time. You know what? I think I'm going to give, I think I'm going to scan this, both of them, and make them two separate printables and give to my Patreon members. What do y'all think, my Patreon members that are on here? Okay, so should I put anything around the love part? I guess not. Maybe I'll use the glitter. I don't know. That one's kind of in there. It almost looks like a gold seal. Kind of like that. Yeah, so maybe I'll put just a little, but these are already kind of close to that. Maybe I could put one right here. Um, now I feel like that one should have one in it. Oh gosh, I'm going to ruin this. Don't ruin it, Lucinda. Don't mess it up. Don't do it. Okay, let's see how this turns out. I think I should have not done that, but it's already done. Leave it. Don't ruin it even more. Okay, now I still feel like I need a little something, like a little black. I don't know what. Or, what do I want to do, you guys? What do you think it needs? Or maybe I need a little bit of pink underline here. Or, hmm, and this is foam, but I think some pink might show up on that. So, I think I might just dip this, and put, or white, white. That's what I should do. I should do a little bit of white. Um, this is white glitter, but I don't know if it will show up. So, I think I want to put a little bit of white underneath the guide and is patient. And then I think maybe I'll feel like I'm finished. So, this paint is probably all dried up in here. Let's see. Oh, I can get some out. Okay. I'm going to try with that. See if I can get the rest of that paint back in here. Because this stuff is not cheap. This is not cheap. <laughs> well, Basics is not too bad. The Liquitex. But it's not cheap. That's for sure. Okay. And Amsterdam. Not cheap. Professional art. Acrylic art. Paint. Um, acrylic paint. <laughs> for, for, for professional art. Okay. So, I'm going to see if I can just underline this. Yeah, I like that. Now, I feel like I shouldn't just keep going forever because then I'm just going to ruin it. And this might be ruining it already. But I've already started it. So I'm going to see it through. I don't know. This part doesn't want to get darker. Here we go. And I don't want it to look perfect. I want it to look painted in there. The paint is a little thick right there. But see, now I kind of messed it up. Just going to try to blend it in. And leave it before I completely ruin it. <laughs> okay, and now I'm just going to underline God. That's definitely broader than I wanted it to be. And I touched the head of the bird. But that's okay. It still will work. I'm going to see if I can get 
that paint off of the head. Yeah. Just taking my nail and taking that off. Okay. Yeah. I need to quit messing with it. Okay. Is that good? Should I add anything else, you guys? I don't know why, but I feel like it needs like a smaller scatter. Like um, maybe a pencil size. And just dip that in a little bit of black, maybe. What do y'all think? Should I dip it in a little bit? Just put like a little bit of black dots around. I think I want to do that. So I just need a little eraser. This will work. But I can dip into a little bit of black. And then I think we will be finished. <laughs> so which black do I want to use? But thank you, Billy. So you think I should stop, Billy? Are you saying don't do anything else? Should I? Is it okay if I add like a few little dots of black or should I stop? What do you think? In case you're thinking I, sh I should go ahead and add the black, <laughs> I'm going to squeeze it into this bottle or squeeze it into this little palette. And then you let me know what you think. Oh... I'm a little scared, but I think I want to try it. So I could just do a couple. Oh yeah, that's not bad. Um, well, that one doesn't have enough paint on it. Well, no, that one is... I should have held it down. Okay. Yeah. I think I like that. And I really feel like I can be finished now. I feel like it's complete. Or completing itself. Oh, thank you, Billy. Well, I'm going to wrap it up with a few of these little black dots. And then I think I'll feel like it's complete. I feel like all the colors are tied in, you know. This one. There we go. Let's see, one right here. Mm. Oh, that's too much paint. And I think it's finished! Yay! Alright, you guys. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and comment and share. It really helps my channel a lot and it tells that YouTube algorithm to recommend my videos. I am on Instagram at Organized Planner Chic where I post all of my creative ventures and adventures. I also have two Facebook groups. The one for anyone around the world is called Organized Planner Chic Crew and there we do giveaways. Oh, thanks, Etta. <laughs> and then the other one, the local one, is called Phoenix Planner Friends for Christ. All right, you guys, please take care of yourselves physically, spiritually, emotionally, or mentally, financially, and relationally. So basically, take care of your body. Take care of your relationship with God. Take care. Thank you, Billy. <laughs> take care of your mental health. You know, don't do things that cause additional stress. And take care of yourself. Get rest and eat and exercise and just take time for yourself take care of your finances try not to live beyond your means and if you need financial help seek it out and then relationally make sure you are making amends if you have offended someone and that you're forgiving if they offend you because 
forgiveness is for you, you guys. And if you need help with all of those things, any of those things, uh, Celebrate Recovery is a great place to go. It's for anyone with hurts, habits, or hangups. A lot of people think it's just for chemical dependency, but it's not. I go there to stay healthy because of post-traumatic stress, anxiety, and every now and then a little bit of depression. But I uh, completed PTSD therapy three years ago in November, and I continue to go to Celebrate Recovery to stay healthy and help other people stay healthy. Thank you guys so much. You are a blessing. Please pray for me and I will continue to pray for you. And until next time, everyone, happy planning.